What I like most about Mina's paintings is that her work is a metaphor for what we as human beings remember as we look at a sunset or the sky or uh, children sitting and, and playing. Uh, the work is grander than what life is like. It's blown into dimensions that is part of our memory. I think that memory has a great deal to do with her work because I find that when we try to remember, when I try to remember uh, certain past experiences or sunsets or, or people, they're not exactly the way I, uh, they were in, in real life, obviously, but they're, they're more colorful. They're, but she captures this in her paintings. She is able to capture the mood of perhaps a memory. Her colors are very intense and there is a great deal of color saturation. She uses a palette knife a great deal, so she's able to get a lot of texture. But it's also about contrast. She is able to express a mood uh, as a result of, of the texture, the color, and the contrast. But it also has a lot of, to do with composition and the way she structures her paintings. The fire is coming from within her, and it's, it's a wonderful way to, uh, to describe her work. She's very passionate about what she does and how she paints and expressing that explosion of, of color that she so much loves to explore and, and is not afraid of. But she's very adept at uh, painting whatever subject matter inspires her. I know that some of the landscapes are uh, more abstract uh, than others, but she's also uh, quite adept at um, painting figures. Very classical almost in the way she paints people. Very romantic approach to uh, the figurative works, uh, as well as the landscapes. And I, I like that very much about her work. Uh, she's, there's an innocence there about uh, the, the way she, she utilizes her, her paint.